Hi, and welcome to Discovering Dataflex, where we learn how to build applications using Dataflex. I'm Johan Brodfeld, and today we're going to look at the little icon in the top of the browser in the tab and how we can switch that out and also how we can change the title of the um, page in the tab using Dataflex. Let's dive in. Okay, so as you see in the tab here in the browser, we have a Dataflex logo and the Dataflex web app. And even though that looks nice, that is not uh, always the case that the customer want to have uh, this little icon. They want their own logo because the application is facing their customers, for instance. And then they would like either their brand name or their the name of the application up here. Uh, so we're going to look at how to achieve that in this video. To start with, you need a logo. It should be a square uh, because that's what we got to work with. And um, there are all kind of tools where you can crop and, and make a square image. So that's uh, just Google Favicon generator online. And we're just going to pick one. Uh, you can try a bunch of different, they do a little bit different things. Some do app icons as well. Some only focus on um, uh, generating uh, favicons. So we want to download uh, the generated favicon. And um, put it in our HTML and images folder. That's where I like to put them. Let's open folder. And we can extract all. And we can call this folder Favicon. So here we have all the different versions of uh, favicons that we can use for different types of browsers and mobile phones and stuff like that. That's really nice. You don't want to do that by hand. In order to get these to be shown in the, in the path here or in the tab, uh, we want to go into this page again. We want to copy these lines here and then go into the old favicon and I'm going to put this here and since we're not having them under the root folder and also that um, on my local machine dataflex is not running on the root it's actually look working from a subdirectory and uh, we need to do a few things um, take this and we replace it with uh, images favicon slash and we go through here replace replace of all of these and that one as well we want to also add it to our MS icon and our favicon. So now all of these are pointing to our folder with icons. And I can go in here and say copy, paste. And now we actually have the icon in our browser tabs. That's great. And it, since we have all of these different setups, it will work in Apple phones, it will work on Android phones and um, all kind of different places. So that's just great. Um, and when you upload the image, you can see the largest image in this case is 180 by 180. So if you don't want the graphics, oh, you have one 192, 192 as well. So if you don't want the graphics to be kind of garbled, you might want to go for an original image that is at least 200 by 200. So 
that the resolu resolution looks okay, even in larger uh, icons that the, can be generated from this. Um, now, let's see, we want to update the title up here. And normally what you would do is go in here and say my application and say my item manager or something like that. Oh, let's just call it item manager for now. And if I reload the page, it still sets Dataflex item overview. And that is because Dataflex is actually overwriting this. So it doesn't matter what you write here. And uh, Dataflex doesn't care. So what you want to do is you want to go into the app source and uh, set uh, PS application title to item manager app, for instance. And if we now reload this, you're going to see that the title is now updated to item manager app. So I hope that was useful. And um, until next time, have a great week. Bye-bye.